Hi, this is Al Cadulo, and welcome to Tech Toys. Tech Toys today is going to take us to Los Angeles to the 3D Entertainment Summit to see what's going on. Hi, Al Cadulo, and I'm here with Ted Kenny, who is the head of production for 3 Reality. Ted, tell me a little bit about your background. You go back with the company quite a long time, and tell me about then. Tell me about what's going on with uh, with the acquisition of Element Technica and how that affects you, okay. and what's going on with the company in general. Okay. Well, uh, actually, I started back in uh, 2006. I got a phone call. I was in Key West, Florida. I got a phone call. They said they were going to travel through South America with this band. I actually thought it was going to be Nine Inch Nails. They flew me out to LA. It's U2. It's U2. Uh, it's 3D, which I've never done before. But really, when you when you start producing uh, 3D, the, the most important thing is that you're a good producer because mm -hmm. you're going to be traveling a crew. You're going to you're going to be good going through different countries. Um, so from that point on, though, when in Mexico City, when I saw the first dailies, um, and I saw Bono, and it was just on the wall with a depth cue system, I said I want to be in this this arena. Cool. So. Reality Digital uh, started right after that because it was actually Cobalt at that time. Mm -hmm. um, they started a company, and I was like the fifth or sixth person hired, um, and I just knew that's where I wanted to be. So, from that point to now, and the changes that have been, you know people always ask me where are the waves, where where we're going to see the peak and everything. There's been so many waves over the last five years. I mean, from uh, you know people saying that people won't wear glasses right. to uh, how many theaters are out there now, to smaller cameras now, to a consumer level camera from Sony, sure. uh, as well as Panasonic. So there's been huge changes. I think the next big change we'll see, uh, or one of them, it's not a big change, but we'll see more dramatic series, more sitcoms going into 3D. Because ultimately this is just like HD, because a lot of people got the HD TVs, but they didn't have the content. Right. By 2015, we're expecting 300 million viewers or people to have 3D TVs enabled because pretty much every TV you buy now is enabled. Um, so what are those people gonna watch? So I think there'll be a big push for content. <coughs> I think series and those things will help drive the cost down because it's week in, week out. You train the crew once, they stay the same. Uh, and now with our acquisition of, uh, of Element Technica, it was just a perfect marriage for us. Uh, the marriage is, we have a lot of software design. Uh, we create great images. Uh, we have some great rigs, but their rigs are amazing as well. And so the, the crossbreed is, is that they make their rigs. We go to Germany, we have them made in Germany, uh, but they have 15 CNC machines. They make it here in LA, they make a lot of parts. Some of those parts have already been put on three alley rigs uh, that we've been trying to build for a while uh, that they had. And some of the software now is cross-platforming to their rigs. So what this gives you, it gives you a chance to have different style rigs on your set, depending on what you want. Uh, and for us to drive the cost down. Right. Now, you guys, though, are not just a, a, a rig company. You right. guys do production, and that's something I think that needs to be highlighted because, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about how rig companies are not really a good business model, but uh, I think that you have to have rigs in order to do this business, and they do have to be ever-changing, and you guys are kind of proving that with bringing on Element Technica. Correct. You know, the biggest thing when we started the company was, well, we got to get the cameras out there to shoot. Uh, and that's, I think, where they brought me on because I was producing a lot of different shows. And it allows you to also do a show, but also do a little bit of R&D in the background. Right. You bring out that new camera, that extra camera for free. The, the, the person who's paying for it doesn't mind. You bring out an extra camera. If you get footage, great. Uh, so it allowed us to do R&D, but it, it's really turned us into a full-on production company, too. Um, with Britney Spears, I just shot Britney Spears, directed that uh, up in Toronto, and it's coming out uh, this November. And with that show, um, I raised more than about two thirds of the money, or it might be half, two thirds, somewhere in there, of the money. So we, f we financed it, uh, we, we came up with a concept, and so we fully developed it uh, from, from start to end, and, and we actually will, will deliver this November. So, and we, and we also are shooting 2D and 3D. So I've got 3D cameras, I'm doing a 2D cut, I'm doing a 3D cut where I'll slow it down a little more, make it a little more personal for you. Right. Uh, and ultimately, we do productions. And, and a lot of times, yeah, people say we're a rig company or we're just a software company, uh, but we have the, the full staff to do everything. And what are we looking for from the future from, uh, from Threeality? I think the future's, uh, future's gonna be interesting. Uh, there's a lot of things that I can't discuss, uh, and that's the wonderful thing. Uh, the wonderful thing is all the things that we talk about and that we're building uh, that we can't talk about. And it frustrates me as a producer because I know it's there. Right. I've seen it work. Right. I want it, uh, and that's always one of the frustrating parts for me. But 
you're going to see in the future no convergence operators. Um, you'll see convergence operators turn into a, a different breed. There'll be utilities uh, that know how to build the cameras. You know, I think you always have stereographers. I know there's a, an article recently where stereographers and convergence operators are going away. Well, you know, a DP can go away. So can a set designer. Yes. I can go into a magazine and pick out all the furniture I want and say that's what I want, go buy it, put it on this. But we don't do that because it's a creative choice. Right. Uh, and stereographers are creative. And they're well, gonna not only that, but I think the, the, the I think more to it is that everybody needs to become excuse me, excuse me. Let's start that again. I think there's more to it than that. I think stereographers it's not that they're going to completely disappear. I think everybody needs to become a stereographer. Everybody needs to, on the crew, needs to understand 3D stereo, and so it becomes everybody's job, and everybody becomes part of that. Yeah, you know, the best thing about any production is getting ownership, you know, allowing ownership. So, so in 3D, if you can teach the crew, all of them, it's from the PA to the craft service, if you get them all involved and, and they get knowledge, it just helps the whole industry. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ted, thank you so much for thank sharing with much. us. I appreciate and it. Have a great show. Thank you very much. Thank you.